Let's talk about how to graph systems of equations. Systems of equations might be graphed on the coordinate plane. When those lines intersect, the point in which they cross each other will be called a solution to the system of linear e equations. There are three different possible solutions to any system of linear equation. Your solution is x comma y. That will be your solution. So let's talk about our three possible solutions here. So we have one solution, a system with one solution intersects at a point x comma y. So it intersects at this point. A no solution would be if we have parallel lines. See how those lines are parallel right there? A, so, a system with no solution involves parallel lines that will never intersect each other. So we write no solution as a zero with a slash through it. Our next type of solution is infinitely many. A solution with infinitely many solutions is two identical lines that intersect infinitely. So see how they're the same exact line? One line right on top of each other. This is whenever it's infinite solutions. At every single point, they intersect. And you can't count them all, you can't list them all, because there's too many to list. It's infinite. So let's do the examples. Okay, we have y equals 2x plus 1. So when we graph, we start with our y-intercept. Then we do our slope. But 2 is 2 over 1. So we're going to start with a y-intercept of 1. Then we are going to do our rise of 2, run of 1. So we're going to go up 2 and right 1. So starting at your y-intercept, go up 1, 2, over 1 for the new point. Up 1, 2, over 1, new point. Up 2, over 1. Rise 2, run 1. Then we're going to do the complete opposite. Go back to your y-intercept and go down 1, 2, over 1. Down 1, 2, over 1. Down 1, 2, over 1. Down 2, over 1. Down 2, over 1. Okay, so we have points that are in a line. So use your straight edge, ID badge, calculator journal, something to make your straight line. So that is our first line. Okay, let's do our second line. This one has a y-intercept of 8 and a slope of negative 3 over 2. So negative 3 means we're going to go down 3 and right 2. So we are going to start at the y-intercept. So go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Put your y-intercept of 8, and then go down 1, 2, 3, over 2. Down 1, 2, 3, over 2. Keep on following that same slope. Down 3, over 2. Down 3, over 2. Down 3, over 2. Okay, connect your dots. Okay, so these are intersecting, so they have one solution. And our one solution is the coordinate pair right there, right here. So we've got to find that coordinate pair. So a coordinate pair is, of course, x comma y. So we've got to find our x number and our y number. So here is x, here is y, and we're going to find out what that point is right there. So the x number is 1, 2, right? So it's 2 comma and our y number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 2, 5 is our solution.
Okay, let's go to the next one. We're going to go ahead and graph this one. So the first number, our y-intercept is 3. So we go up to 3. Then we do our slope, 5 over 4. Up 5, right 4. So we're going to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over 1, 2, 3, 4. Then we do the complete opposite of up 5, right 4, and go down 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, left 1, 2, 3, 4. And do it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4. And connect your dots. So that is our first line. So let's do our second line. This one, the B is negative 3. 1, 2, 3. So negative 3. Our slope is 5 over 4. Hey, isn't that the same as the last slope? What do lines that have the same slope look like? They are parallel. So let's do 5 over 4 again because that is our slope. They have the same slope. So start at negative 3, go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over 1, 2, 3, 4. Now do it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now do the complete opposite. Go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now connect your dots. Okay, these are parallel. So if they are parallel, parallel lines, they are never going to intersect. So that is a no solution. So we put a zero with the slash there. Don't put zero, put zero with that slash there. That means no solution. Okay, let's go to the next one. Y equals 4X minus 3. So our B is at negative 3. That's where we're going to start our point, negative 3. Now our slope is negative 4. Well, it has to be negative 4 over 1. So that means we're going to go down 4 and right 1. So start at your y-intercept and go down 1, 2, 3, 4, right 1. Now keep on doing the same thing. 1, 2, 3, 4. Up 4 over 1. Up 4 over 1. Hopefully you got the same points as me. So it's a negative slope. Okay, let's hit the next one. Our B is negative 3. M is negative 4 over 1. Hey, isn't that the same line? It sure is. So same line. So... I don't have to draw it again. It's already drawn. So this is infinitely many solutions. It's going to go over the same exact line. Okay, let's look at our tables. So what we're looking at for tables is the XY pair where they are the same. So I look at my X and I look at the matching Y. So negative 3 is with 5, and then negative 3 is with 2. Those aren't the same. Negative 2 is with 4. Negative 2 is with 4. That is the same. Those, that would be our solution. I'm just going to look through the rest. Negative 1 and 3. Negative 1 and 6. Nope. 0, 2, 0, 8. 1, 1, 1, 10. So the only solution is negative 2, 4. Okay, the next one, we look for matching solutions. 
there is nothing that matches, okay? So since there is nothing that matches, this is a no solution. On the next one, everything matches. So this is infinitely many solutions.